Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jess, your host for Mondays on the Beaver Bunch, and I'm coming to you from my floor. Yeah, my bedroom floor with the flip camera in front of me, and the reason is because I don't have access to my computer today, and that's why this is going up just a little bit late. I don't have a whole lot of time because I have to be at work soon, but I'm going to try to I'm going to try to knock this out and get it out for you as soon as possible. So, with that, we're gonna start this video, and this week we're, top we're talking about weight. I did just a tiny bit of research with my housemates just to sort of get a different idea and not just throw my own opinions out there for you. Um, it's, it's a sensitive subject, I think, and so I'm trying to do my best to be as, as compassionate and, and sensitive as possible in regards to the issue of weight. Um, so the first question is, how does a bigger woman meet women who are willing to look past what's on the outside and see the inner beauty of someone else. Um, I don't know, I, I really think that it's something that we are inherently born with, you know, who it is that we are attracted to. It's something that that we're born with. And for me, I don't, you know, I don't want to sit here and work out four and five days a week at the gym, go for a run, watch what I eat and date someone who's overweight and doesn't want to do those things with me. It, I find it attractive when someone is, you know, almost perfectly aligned with what I do in my daily life as far as, you know, activities go, uh, extracurricular activities. So um, when you ask how does a bigger woman meet someone who wants to like look past that, my question to you is what type of woman are you looking for? Um, and I feel like if you, anybody, I mean this goes for anybody, you should be comfortable and confident in your own skin, whether you are super skinny or extremely overweight. Own it, love it, you know? Just be happy with who you are and don't let anybody else affect how you feel about yourself. And always, always keep in mind, everyone is insecure about something within themselves. Um, that goes for me, that goes for everyone that I know. We all have a bit of insecurity about ourselves and our physical appearance and we're always trying to, I don't know, to satisfy everyone else. But when it comes down to it, they don't, they don't matter. All that matters is that you are happy and confident with yourself and if, you are, if you're not, change it. Change it. Go out and, and do something about it. But don't ever let someone else's view of what the perfect body is affect how you feel about yourself. That's, that's your own thing. So, I don't know, that's, that's my advice about the, uh, as far as the first question goes. Number two, would I ever date a bigger woman? For me, it's, like I said, I have to have someone who is, is very online or on the same page as far as what I do with, you know, with my extracurricular activities and, and what I do with like my diet or whatever, you know, like I can't, I can't be eating healthy and then go date somebody who only goes and eats fast food all the time. Like that's, it just, it doesn't work for me. It never will work for me. Um, I have to have someone that wants to go to the gym with me. And typically those are not people that are, that are super overweight. So it's not that I won't date someone like that, it's just that I haven't because it doesn't align with my own daily activity, my own daily routine. Um, it's not that I'm not attracted to bigger women, I just feel like I am pretty health conscious and I feel like I need someone that's also the same, that's healthy. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I've dated all types of women. I've dated women that are thicker. I've dated women that are super skinny. I've dated toned women. I've dated different races. I think I just like girls, so I don't know. Um, now we're going to go on to number three, which is why the obsession with weight and the perfect body in the LGBTQ community? And this is a question that I talked to with my housemate about, and she definitely gave me some really great insight. So I'm going to try to like throw that out there to you guys because I definitely agree with her. Um, I don't think that our obsession is any different than anybody else's, you know, than like the heterosexual community. I feel like we're just as obsessed, if not more or less. And I also think that it's a generational thing because my particular generation is 
slightly more obsessed with, with weight and having the perfect body than people that are 10, 20, 30 years older than me. Um, so I just, I think it's, I think it's a genera genera generali uh, generational thing. I was going to say generalization, but that's not what I was trying to say. It's, yeah, generational. That's how I feel about that one. Um, yeah, I don't know. My, my advice for, for this particular topic is, you know, like I said, be comfortable and be confident, confident within, with yourself. I'm trying to spit it out, but it's not working. I can't enunciate properly today. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's my video. Be happy with yourself. Be confident with yourself. Own it. And again, if there's something that you don't like about yourself, just change it. I know it's easier said than done, but it can happen. And yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys have a really, really great week. Happy Monday, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Thanks for watching.